everybody. Did you know that there is a huge library in Minecraft full of uncensored articles that were banned in other countries? And it's called the Uncensored Library. There are a lot of countries in the world like Saudi Arabia, Vietnam, Egypt, and many more, but they don't have any press freedom. In other words, the government controls all the press. So in these places, if journalists want to make hard-hitting exposés on the government, they're risking their lives. There is work by journalists that have been killed in this library. Press is not free, but Minecraft is allowed in these places. They have a website, it's called uncensoredlibrary.com. You can read more about the project. Um, I just wanna read a little bit. So basically, like I said, in many countries, websites, social media, and blogs are controlled by oppressive leaders. Young people in particular are forced to grow up in systems where their opinion is heavily manipulated by governmental disinformation campaigns. So basically in these places, you just have to believe what the government tells you. You have no way of telling whether it's right or wrong. This project was done by a Reporters Without Borders, and there were many other companies and organizations that worked on the project to make it come to life, but I believe Reporters Without Borders started this. I do worry that the accessibility to Minecraft will change because of this. Like I said earlier, it's not unheard of for governments to actually kill people who are going against what they're saying, and so um, I have no doubt in my mind that Minecraft m or at least Minecraft servers might become outlawed in some countries because of this. This definitely isn't gonna be the end of censorship, but I would say it's a pretty big move against it. So you can either download it or you can find it on multiplayer. Um, you just go to direct connection and you enter this address, visit.uncensoredlibrary.com. And then you join. All right, here we are in the Uncensored Library. Here is a map. And there's teleports to Russia, Vietnam, Egypt, Mexico, Saudi Arabia, and Reporters Without Borders. It's really quite big. Um, definitely over a million blocks. I, I can't remember how many blocks they said. They, they had it on their website how many blocks it was. It was like 2.5 million blocks or 13 million. Or, it was some sort of millions of blocks. I'm not exactly sure what. Um, my rendering, I don't have my rendering set very high. Press Freedom Index. Oh, so this is something that um, actually, it's a ranking of how free the press is. So number one is Norway. What is the US? Oh, we're at number 45. I'm, I'm curious about this whole COVID-19 press censorship. Like what, what, is, what is that? Well, press freedom violations regarding COVID-19 information in this room. Oh man, there's probably so much that was tried to censored. I'm not gonna get into, like read any of the articles. I just wanted to share that it's here, uh, share that it's available. There's articles in many different languages. Not everything is available in English. So a lot of them are in the language that they were natively written in. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. If you want to check it out, it's free. You can download it from the website on setsourlibrary.com. I just thought this was a really cool thing that people were doing. You know what? I, I love it. I love to see people trying to help people and doing it for free. I hope you guys found that interesting. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.